Hi everyone, this is Nikki Armstrong, Genetic Counselor with PPMD. This video is to help you understand the Levitas label and genetic variant exclusions. This video is not intended to replace medical advice from a qualified medical professional. We strongly encourage you to discuss all treatment options and questions with your doctor. So let's start with some quick genetics basics. Every gene is an instruction to make a protein. The gene involved in Duchenne is called DMD and makes the protein dystrophin. All genes are made up of exons, which provide the code for the protein, 79 in this case, and introns. The exons and introns are made up of smaller chemicals called nucleotides, the DNA. Those give the precise instructions for making the dystrophin. When a drug is approved by the FDA, a label is generated that includes information about the safety of the drug, such as contraindications. The FDA states that a contraindication is when the risk from using the medicine clearly outweighs the benefit. The FDA says this should only be known risks, meaning that the risk has been seen in a clinical trial or follow-up study. Alevitis has a contraindication of any deletion in exon 8 and or exon 9 in the DMD gene. So what is a deletion? A deletion is missing genetic information. This can include a deletion of an entire exon, as is shown here on the left with a deletion of exon 9, or a deletion of one of the DNA chemicals, as is shown here on the right. Another example would be a deletion of exons 8 through 13, as that would also be contraindicated. A duplication or extra copy of exon 8 and 9 would not be considered contraindicated. The contraindication is because serious side effects, specifically severe muscle weakness and muscle inflammation, were seen in five boys who participated in various clinical trials of microdystrophin and had a deletion of this section of the gene. Some of the kids also had difficulties with breathing and inflammation of their hearts. Follow-up studies showed that there was an immune response against the newly produced microdystrophin. Essentially, people who have deletions in exon 8 and or exon 9 may not have ever made that part of the dystrophin protein. When their body sees the microdystrophin after the gene therapy, it may consider it foreign and attack it. Because the risks could outweigh the benefits for people with deletions in this region, any deletion in exon 8 and or exon 9 in the DMD gene is considered a contraindication. Please note that this is specific to deletions. The FDA label also includes warnings, which the FDA says should identify and describe a specific set of side effects that are serious. To be in a warning, there should be reasonable evidence of the drug causing the side effect, but they don't have to be 100% certain. The warning on Alevitis is for deletions in exons 1 through 17 and or exons 59 through 71, as deletions in these regions may be at an increased risk of, for a severe immune reaction causing muscle inflammation. Because many of the studies of gene therapies excluded people with variants in these exons, there is very little data about the safety of Alevitis with deletions in these regions. Any treatment you are considering should be discussed with your child's Duchenne care team, as all treatments have potential risks and potential benefits. If your child does not have a Duchenne care team, please reach out to PPMD's care team who can help connect you. If you have any questions about your child's specific genetic variant, please reach out to the genetic counselor team. Thank you.